direction. That's it. Cool. Cut. Welcome back to my channel. I've decided to film a little day in the life style vlog today. I've got a shoot between one and four in central London, central eastern London, which I've been told I can vlog behind the scenes of, so I'll take you along to that. And before that I need to film a YouTube video, so the video that went up last Wednesday, by the time you're watching this, I need to plan that video and then film that before I leave, if I have enough time. And then after the shoot, I'm gonna go and train at the chain store for a few hours. So that's the plan for today. Come join me. So my process when I make any sort of sit down, chatty video where I'm talking to the camera and you've got clips playing in the background, my process is always to start by putting the clips that I'm gonna want to use in the video into a final cut project so i already have all the clips there that i'm going to talk about ready so this is the case for my monthly training videos or hmm, mainly for my monthly training videos but in this case the video that i'm making is a throwback video where i'm doing a little throwback to 2012 so i've already put the clips that i'm likely to use into a final cut project like this i find these clips so funny now. <laughs> so I've already done that during the week and then I would take my notepad, my little cute notepad, and jot down bullet points about the things that I need to talk about when I film. Because when I film I don't necessarily want to have all the clips in front of me and be looking through them. So that's how I used to do it. I used to just sort of have the clips not even in a Final Cut project already, just sort of random clips on my laptop and I would click on them and think, oh okay, yeah, I'll talk about that and I'd sort of watch it as I talked about it, which just meant the whole process took a lot longer and then sometimes when I actually came to edit the video I'd find other clips that I wanted to use and then I hadn't spoken about them and it was just a bit like, Ugh. this just seems to be a better way for me. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through these clips that I've already put together and bullet point the things that I want to say about them. So that's my morning. How about you? <laughs> making my my notes my bullet points so I'm gonna just set up my camera and probably just one ring light today sometimes I set up a couple of soft boxes as well but because we've got quite a lot of natural light going on already today I think I'll just use a little ring light Bella's come and joined me Bella yeah you prick those ears you know I'm talking to you Bella there you are hello sweetie so yeah, I'm just gonna set up the camera now and yeah, film that. I've got, ooh, I've got an hour before I need to leave and I still need to get some other things ready so I need to film this quite quickly. So I'm gonna rush off and do that. Okay, see you in a minute, bye. All right, so I've just finished filming that video. I've actually had to put that camera battery on charge. I've got about half an hour now before I need to leave. So, Hopefully that's gonna charge a little bit. I have got this extra battery with me, but it would have been nice to have two. But anyway, let's see how much charge that I can get in half an hour. And now I've just got to rush to get ready to leave the house for this shoot. And I'm gonna take my laptop with me so that I can put that video together on the train. So hopefully I'll have that up and scheduled by the end of today, ready to go up on Wednesday, which will be my birthday, by the way. Huh, happy birthday to me for three days time, or a week ago, if you're watching this, the day this goes up. We're just time travelling all over the shop. You're a sleepy pup, Belle. You're so cute. So I've just got to the station. Unfortunately, it's looking really 
drizzly and wet out at the moment which isn't great as the shoot I'm heading to is outside and they mainly want me doing stuff on the bars sort of calisthenics style good luck to anyone trying to do bars on a wet bar mm, I really really need it to dry up it's one of those things where if it's raining even if they wipe down the bars I'm still gonna really struggle because the second there's one drop of rain on it I'm gonna come flying off, so I'm really, really hoping that it's gonna dry up ASAP. Station, and now I need to find out where Steel Warriors gym is. I think it should be really, really close by, hopefully. I think I need to cross over. I can literally see it from the station. There it is. As I feared, all of the bars are wet. Oh, which is gonna make it really hard to do anything, but this is a cool park. I didn't know it existed. Good to know. I suppose because the weather's so bad it means that no one else is out today so we've got free reign of the park and I'm the first one here which means that I can maybe have a little think about some of the stuff I want to do before everyone else turns up. Fun fact about this park, it was actually built out of recycled steel from the knives that were found on the streets of London which is cool. Oh I think people have just turned up. Yes that's them. Boop. So we've actually just started the shoot but we're all huddling under the easy up because it's just started raining. I'm not going to film too much behind the scenes but I have been told I can use their behind the scenes footage so I'm going to insert some of that now so you can see what I get up to during the shoot. Can you actually pull out and follow follow it? No, it's, it's me because I'm close focus. One more. I'll try and get a bit of that going. Still rolling? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, just do it with a clap. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Cut. All right, so that's the shoot over. Hopefully, I got a lot of behind the scenes clips sent over to me that you just saw just then. Um, but yeah, I was going to go and train now, but we finished a little bit later than I expected. So I'm just going to go straight home. Yeah finish editing that video and might get to the gym maybe it's 5 30 now I'll be home by 7 30. <laughs> we'll see oh, I'm finally back home it's now coming up to half past seven and I thought that at this point I would still have enough energy to go to the gym however it turns out I have absolutely no energy left 
So I think instead I'm going to finish editing this video that I started earlier and then have a bath because I feel like I'm still so cold from today's shoot even though I'm inside in the warm now. I feel like I need to thaw out properly because I got really really cold today and then after that rather than having a hardcore training session I might have a little stretching session instead because actually that might set me up a little bit better for next week. Next week is my last full week on the project that I've been working on for the past few months. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna film any of that because it's not that interesting to watch me stretch, I don't think. Or is it? If you'd like to see me stretching in the future, you just let me know. Just let me know in the comments below, okay. 